Hello everyone, I am Sonam from Pabli team and in this video we will learn how to receive form submission notifications on WhatsApp using WhatsApp Cloud API. So the idea here is that I have created a form in type form and whenever the form is submitted by a user, I want to get, I want to receive the instant alerts and notifications on WhatsApp, something like, hello Roger Bini, a new candidate has applied for the post of digital marketing via your job application form. Here are the details of the form and you will find the name and the email of the person who has submitted the form on your WhatsApp, something like this. But there is a problem that type form and WhatsApp do not have any direct connection. So in order to build the connection in between Typeform and WhatsApp, I am going to use an automation software that is Pabli Connect. So just watch this video till end and you will be also able to set these kind of automations very quickly. First open your browser and type P-A-B-B-L-Y pabli.com slash connect in your browser and press enter and you will reach to the landing page of Pabli Connect of that automation software from this blue button you will have to create your free account. The account creation in Pabli Connect is absolutely free and you will also get 100 free tasks so that you can actually test create this kind of automation okay i already have an account that's why i have clicked on signing and i have reached to the dashboard of public connect directly okay just wait okay so i have reached it now from this blue button you will have to start creating your automation give any random name to your automation to your workflow i am giving the name as type form to whatsapp okay whatsapp automation okay let's make it like this click on create and once you will click on create, you will find two boxes in front of you. These are actually trigger. Okay. Let to be minimize it. Trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. Understand with an example. When a sale has happened in a payment gateway application, send an email via Gmail application. Another example, when a form is submitted, let's say Google Forms, share a file via Google, via Google Drive application, okay? According to our use case, whenever the form is submitted, basically the type form application, get a notification of that form submission on WhatsApp, okay? So let's proceed for the same. Uh, choose your application as type form first application will be the type form because we want to actually collect the form submission data of type form and in trigger event click on new entry now click on this blue button connect in order to connect your type form type form with public connect click on add new connection click on connect with the type form i already logged into my type form account in different tab tab so you can see it is asking for this permission. Simply click on accept. Don't worry, Pabli Connect is 100% safe. Okay. And you will see the authorization is successful. And my type form account is connected with Pabli Connect. And you can see whatever the forms are available in my type form has started visible here in the Pabli Connect. Let me even show you my type form account. Here you can see I have one, two, three, four, four forms in my type form account. And let me show you these are the forms visible here in the drop down. Now I have created this particular form, the job form. Okay, let me show you. Let me preview this form first. So here is my form. I'm going to preview it. And let me show you in the desktop mode. This is my form. Okay, name, e email, number, applying for which position. Okay, this is my form. And I'm going to select the same form, basically the job application form. Whenever a new job application form is received, I want to get the notification about the same on WhatsApp. Now click on save and send test request and let's see what is saying. It is saying once you have clicked over the save and send test request button, do a test submission or record in that application in order to capture the response here. So basically, I'll have to go to my form again, okay, and open this form in actual, okay. Where is that form let me open it click on share and you will see the form link okay open it in a new tab and let's fill out this form let's give a dummy name okay because i am doing it just for the video purpose okay that is i am giving any random name uh, admin at the rate pabli touch.com okay 
click on ok your number i'm going to add my number ok i have provided the whatsapp number ok applying for which position so basically let's say he is applying for the digital marketing click on submit let's go back to public connect and see whether the response is received while waiting for the response and you can see the response in type form is received and let me show you the details one by one this is the name of the form all right here you can see the dummy name is here the dummy email address is here phone number every detail is here now i want to receive the same form responses to my whatsapp that is why i am going to click on this second application and choose whatsapp cloud api now what's what is whatsapp cloud api well in order to receive the notification on whatsapp we cannot actually use the direct whatsapp account i am going to make use of whatsapp cloud api software it is basically the official api of whatsapp which facebook has recently launched okay click on send template message in action event click on connect now it will ask you to connect your whatsapp cloud api account with pabli connect so click on add new connection and it will ask you three details token phone number id and whatsapp business account id now open your browser and type developers.facebook.com and press enter and this is how you will reach to the landing page of whatsapp cloud api from here you'll have to create your free account okay i have already account that's why i'm going to click on my apps and i have logged in directly because i was already logged in and the very first thing you will have to do is to create an app and generate a permanent token in order to set up your whatsapp cloud api account i am repeating this again create an app and generate a permanent token i have recorded and attach a separate video in my description box please go to that video check it set up your whatsapp cloud api account and then come back here okay once you will create your app you will find your application here and now i am going to click on my application which i have already created in advance okay this is my app open it well we need three things phone number id token and whatsapp business account id that is why i have opened this uh, section okay now from the left side click on whatsapp click on getting started and you will find those three details all right here is the token copy it and come back to public connect and paste it here i am using the temporary access token and it will expire soon well i am doing this connection just for the video purpose that is why i am using this temporary token but again i have just told you you will have to generate a permanent token and make sure when you are going to send the actual messages to your customers only make use of the permanent token all right let's shift it here so that it will be easier phone number id copy it and paste it here the last thing is the whatsapp business account id copy it and paste it here okay and this is how you will get all three details click on save and you will be also connected with pabli connect okay now it is asking to fill few details template name what is template name basically the message which we are going to send to our customers and whatsapp always asks you to create a template first get it approved via facebook then only you can actually start conversation with your customers let me even show you the templates which are available in my account and which are already started showing here okay firstly you'll have to click on this here option under the step two click on this here option in whatsapp cloud api account only and you will find all the templates which i have created in my account and you can see all of them are approved approved i have created them in advance and get them approved okay in case you want to create your template you can actually do it from this blue button how you can create your template again a separate tutorial has been recorded and attached to this description box of this video okay go and check your video let me show you my template which i have created okay it was something like i guess uh, job alert yes new job alert final i guess it is the same template which i have created yes you can see the preview of the template is here and i have created my message template from this body text okay let me show you this let me actually minimize it so that you can actually see it very clearly in one go all right so this is the header i have created new job application is received you can see it is visible here 
this is the body text and you can see whatever the values we want to change every time on new form submission i have kept all these things in the form of variable how you can actually do this you just have to put these two curly braces and put the number okay well when you will create this template you will actually find this add variable button here here at the uh, bottom right corner all right this is the footer option well it is optional and you can also attach the buttons as well here i have forgot to tell you a very important thing that whenever you will create a template do not forget to add these samples so samples are basically whatever the values whatever the variables you are keeping in your template you will have to just provide a sample values here and once you will provide these sample values you can actually click on done and click on submit and this is how your template will be approved very soon generally people actually forget to provide the samples and uh, that is why their template actually did not uh, get approved for now i am going to my pably connect account and i am going to select the same application basically the template name and my template is actually job alert finder i have selected it okay keep the language code and this particular field as a recipient mobile number and there are three actually four details are also are there no 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 actually five details are there one body field one two three four five five variables are there and one is the phone number field what are these five variables basically the values which i have kept in the form of variable you can see one two three four five these three five values i'll have to map right from here okay whatever the values i'm going to provide here will be changed in this particular message automatically so let's fill it one by one i will fill this particular number also but body field one is basically the name of the team member of mine so that is not actually going to change that is why i will write it as roger bini only okay and this name will not going to change that is why i have write it manually body field two well what is that let me check it for the post of so basically the post for which the candidate has applied where i can actually find this detail basically from the above step from which i have actually received the type form submissions but i do not have to actually copy the details from the above step all the details will be visible here in the drop down only okay you can simply open it and click on that particular field whatever you will have to map okay let me map the value i have selected the position as digital marketing let me find it where it is you can actually search for the same here you can see here is the digital marketing click on that now what is body field 3 let me check it again in my template basically the name the email and the phone number let's fill them one by one name all right let me search for the name directly all right dummy name i have filled remember click on that okay somehow it has missed it okay dummy name it click on that now body field 4 is basically the email address okay again let me search it with the help of this at the rate admin at the rate pablitards.com this is the email id i have added as a candidate okay body field 5 is basically the phone number okay let me fill that phone number as well here it is now i have filled all the details except the recipient mobile number so this is the mobile number of the person so here i would like to receive the notification on my number that is why i am going to add the my number here okay and read the instructions here enter the recipient mobile number with country code without plus sign that means you will have to write the number in this particular format only okay so i am going to write my number here okay in front of you i am going to add a dummy number but i will add it okay the actual number going to pause this video So I have opened my WhatsApp account also. Now going back to Public Connect, click on Save and Send this request. Let's see what is the response. 
all right i have received the response let me check my whatsapp and you can see i have actually received this notification of let me open the message new job application is received hi roger bini a new candidate has applied for the post of digital marketing via your job application form here are the details of the candidate name the dummy name is here the phone number is here the email id is here regards pabli team so you can see this is how you can actually create these kinds of automation in pabli connect by connecting different applications all right and not just the typeform and whatsapp cloud api you can actually integrate several kind of automation in place of typeform you can actually connect the google forms jot form anything I will attach the link of this particular automation this particular workflow in my description box so in case you want to clone the same in your account you can actually do it from this link if you found this video helpful please like it and thank you for watching this video